The Abruzzo earthquake of April 2009 struck central Italy at 3.30 in the morning, when most residents were asleep in their homes. Although this earthquake was moderate in size, magnitude 6.3, it caused nearly 300 fatalities, thousands of injuries, and displaced more than 60,000 people. A similar earthquake could strike in the United States at any time. So let's see what lessons can be learned regarding earthquake preparedness. The city of L'Aquila is a 13th century mountain city with 68,000 residents. L'Aquila suffered the most destruction from the earthquake. I see that all the damages are due to the lack of implementation of what we know. When you see the failure, you ask question, didn't we knew that? I mean, most of the things we see is not surprising to a scientific community. It is surprising that how our knowledge is not being getting implemented, being used. So this is uh, to show one, that, yeah. uh, that if you build in the right way, yeah. this is the result. The problem is the type of buildings and the fact that we don't want to change. Um, it's impossible to retrofit all the ancient buildings. And because our country is that, is uh, what we like of our country, is the history. If you remove those, uh, the country is gone. And there is no more history and uh, we will feel lost. According to the Italian Department of Civil Protection, the damage sustained in this region can be attributed to two main factors. The fragility of the buildings and the close proximity of the fault. I think there is again a lot of knowledge exists in strengthening and retrofitting. Okay. For example, when we do preservation of this cultural heritage, we put money for the architectural preservation of these monuments uh, but we are not putting uh, money in the structural strengthening. Immediately following the earthquake, some 30,000 people were relocated along the coast, and some 28,000 have been housed in 180 tent cities located on the outskirts of L'Aquila and several smaller cities. There are three ways that I can see of de uh, reducing the earthquake. One is prediction, and we don't know how to do it, really. Another thing would be better preparedness, and that includes better building. Mm -hmm. And then there's one other thing, and that is early warning, mm -hmm. and that may work for very large earthquakes at some distance from a population center. A lesson to be learned from the Abruzzo earthquake is that even a moderate-sized earthquake can cause major damage and many deaths. The main problem was very fragile buildings, especially residences. Here in the United States, we also have many highly vulnerable buildings, including hospitals, schools, factories, and residences. Retrofitting or replacement of these fragile structures is needed to avoid a disaster.